I was prompted to do this video after I heard uh, the industrialist Mr. Rajiv Bajaj in conversation with the Congress leader Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Though I respect, you know, everybody's point of view and, and, and right to differ with regard to, you know, any public policy of the establishment. But here with due respect, I believe that the understanding of Mr. Bajaj and Mr. Gandhi, you know, regarding lockdown is somewhat misplaced, shallow and not well researched and thought through. Their arguments are not supported by any data or case studies. I want to make my arguments against theirs, so keep watching this video ahead. According to uh, the industrialist Mr. Rajiv Bajaj, the way India has been locked down is a draconian lockdown. This kind of lockdown he has not heard about from anywhere else. And then he goes on to say that this lockdown has definitely decimated the Indian economy. And he says he, it has flattened the, the wrong curve, that is not the infection curve, but, but the GDP curve. Well, you know, even I had my doubts once about the lockdown theory, about its, the, the strategy of lockdown, when I had seen Sweden not going in for lockdown. And at that time, I did a video talk as well, you know, with regard to Sweden not going in for lockdown. But then, you know, I started doing my own comparative studies and analysis of different nations and their decision making. And here is what I found, whereby I feel that India did absolutely right, absolutely right in going in for lockdown. Otherwise, we would have lost both enormously and massively the lives and the economy. Sweden chose for a more open approach in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic than other European countries, as we all know. But at present, it has seen an upsurge in the number of deaths per capita, which is highest in Europe on a per capita basis, and even above the United Kingdom. And over and above that, Sweden is sitting at the brink of recession. In fact, one doctor there has actually accused the Swedish government of playing Russian roulette with the people of Sweden. And, you know, majority of Swedish experts are advocating lockdown. Deaths in Sweden have been higher than in neighboring Scandinavian countries. So their model has gone wrong. Sweden did not impose lockdown during the pandemic, believing that there will be less economic stress, distress. But the most recent data demolishes that belief. Yes, Sweden, which is Scandinavia's biggest economy, will shrink 7% this year. This is as per their own finance minister, uh, uh, Magdalena uh, Anderson. Uh, that's the name of their finance minister. Sweden is not the only example. South Korea battled the COVID-19 uh, pandemic with, with, with no lockdown and it is seeing significant job losses no different than the, those countries which had enforced lockdown even canada had not imposed lockdown absolutely all across we all know that you know the fact what happened to their economy do we know well the research conducted by the economists of three leading universities from seoul uh, from from london and washington has concluded that Canada's economy may not go back completely to normal, normalcy, beg your pardon, so long COVID-19 stays around. Most job losses, you know, have not occurred due to lockdown, but from lack of hiring by businesses and a considerable volume, you know, of non-participation in the, in the labor market. You know, people do not want to step out of their homes. They don't want to endanger their lives. 
the said economists have have you know concluded the best way to relieve the labor market is to eradicate the virus so we cannot blame the economy having suffered because of a lockdown or or or, or no lockdown it's not as simple as that you know you you open up the the uh, the the uh, the 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 lockdown and still people are not stepping out here i will also like to quote the same study which attempted to unravel the several distinct reasons in respect of unemployment in the context of south korea it 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 it, it is cited uh, you know and actually it's a notorious event that spiked the transmission rate in in south korea you know do you know that in mid february the country had only 30 covid patients only 30 but this person who eventually became 31st patient you know he attended one religious gathering and 10 days later the country had more than 300 infections can you believe it almost entirely clustered around where he had attended that gathering more than 60 percent of them were traced back to that single gathering so this simple real life example demonstrates that lockdown does arrest spread of the deadly virus and economic recession is going to be a challenge either way so it is better to save the lives than save the lives beg your pardon than lose everything if you have the life you can revive and rebuild everything again as they say if money is gone something is gone but if health is gone everything is gone it's, it's you know that, that that phrase we have heard uh, so many times so that that's the phrase of wisdom thank you uh, and 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 you know see you next time with with another topic of your interest hope you found this little video chat interesting and informative thank you